Hi guys, this is Mike from Website Builders Critic. Today I'm going to show you how to do basic SEO with Weebly. For those who aren't familiar with SEO, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. And basically what it means is modifying your website to help Google and the other search engines best locate it when someone does a search. So ideally you're going to want to try to target your website as much as possible towards the specific search terms that you're hoping someone's going to type in and then find your website on. Once you're inside your website in Weebly, it's very straightforward to get to the SEO settings. Simply click on the settings link at the top. That's going to load up. And then there's one very crucial piece you need to think about at the beginning. That is your site title. So let's say, for instance, you are an airline company or a law firm or an accounting firm or something along those lines. It's important that you make sure your site title best reflects what your website's about. Let's say, for instance, this is Johnston Accounting, in which case I'm going to put in Johnston Accounting Personal Financial Accountants or something along those lines. Let's say, for instance, I'm hoping that people type in Personal Financial Accountants in Edmonton, where I live. Now I'm targeting specifically this long tail keyword which is personal financial accountant in Edmonton as well as financial accountant in Edmonton and accountants in Edmonton. So there's three different search terms that could be found that way or even accounting and then Edmonton. So you can see with the site title alone you're putting in a number of good options. Once you've done that click Save. That'll update your site title. And what will happen is when someone visits your website that's going to show up in the tab at the very top as the title of your website. You can see on the left hand side there's an SEO option. Clicking on there allows you to input a site description in 250 characters or less. So in this case, let's say again we're still an accounting firm, then we're going to put in Johnston Accounting specializes in personal financial accounting, tax returns, income assessment, and more in the city of Edmonton. We've now got a number of great keywords embedded into this description so that when someone does a Google search, if Google chooses to use the site description, they're going to see that you're in Edmonton and these are the services you provide. Now meta keywords aren't typically used by any search engines anymore and certainly not with Google, but if you choose to use them anyway just for those rare search engines that may use it, you can plug a couple of options in here. Whatever you do, resist the urge to, to keyword stuff in this area. In other words, don't use a whole 167 characters and put in 15,000 different keywords. Put in two or three ones that you really think are the most important ones for your website. Once you've got that done, click on Save, and your settings are saved. Now, with all websites, you'll have individual pages. As you can see, I clicked on the Pages tab up here. Let's say, for instance, you have a services page for your website. So we you can see on the services page, I've got the page name, and then there's an advanced settings link. Clicking on that lets you modify the individual pages you just, the individual, pardon me, um, settings that I just showed you in the previous. So these ones are specific to this services page. So it's important that for every single page you create, you come into the advanced settings for it, make sure the page title accurately describes it and has some keywords in it, make sure the page description is in detail describes what the, this specific page is offering. And then again, if you choose to use meta keywords, you can enter a couple of options in here separated by a comma. Once you have those changes made, click on save at the bottom, and then you'll be switch to the page where you can make, make necessary changes. And that in a nutshell is how to do quick and easy SEO with Weebly. If you found this video useful, please subscribe below or share this post. Thanks very much.